Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on my Pixel 4 to preserve a bit of battery because I do have the small version um, and it can be hard sometimes but uh, these are some tips that are going to help you preserve battery life. So the first step is go into settings, go to display and turn off adaptive brightness because if you turn the... Um, if you turn the brightness manually, it'll help save battery because the sensors are not always looking for something to go off of to adaptively change the brightness. Uh, I didn't mention this in the intro, but this is going to be a quick little video of just showing you how to do this. So the next thing you're going to go into is still this, and then you're going to go into advanced, and then it's going to be in uh, screen timeout. Yeah, there we go. So, the default is 30 seconds, but if you think about it, 15 seconds of not touching your phone, that's just about how much you would want it. So, do it to however you want. I recommend 15 to 30 seconds for an average. I have mine set to 15, but that will just help the screen from not staying on. The second thing we're going to do is go to here and turn off smooth display. Now, this can save a lot of battery. Um, like this can get you like near one more hour in actual battery life, like on screen time. Uh, what this basically does is turns off 90 hertz. So I recommend just turn this off um, if you're not gaming. And then if you are playing a game that supports 90 hertz, I, I would turn this on. You don't have to if you don't want to. But this will save so much battery because the smooth display basically turns on 90 hertz just when you're touching the phone. And... That's using a lot of stuff, so I recommend keep this off. But if you're like, you really want 90 hertz, um, then maybe turn 90 hertz on and try the rest of the video. But, uh, yeah. Dark theme. Okay, uh, you can actually turn on dark theme, I'm pretty sure, from here. Yeah, dark theme. So, I recommend you just turn on dark theme for everything, because this actually does, like, as you see, I'm in settings right now, and it's black, and that uses the... Uh, AMOLED display to turn off all the pixels that are black which really helps save battery and on the face of helping save battery by making use of the AMOLED display um, if you really really want to maximize your battery life and you your phone stays on the lock screen for a while I recommend going to like styles of wallpapers and go to living universe and do like a planet or something because it has a lot of black in it or you could just full on find a black uh thing like a like um a black wallpaper and just set it to all black so all those pixels are off i don't know you do whatever you like best um so this next setting is going to be going into settings and going into system and motion sense and turning off reach to check phone now this is exactly what it sounds like. So with, with this on, you turn off your phone and then you reach your hand over the phone and it automatically turns on face unlock. It only makes it like, this puts it just above the iPhones uh, because the iPhones do end up using lift to check. Um, but if you really try to preserve battery life, I would recommend turning this off. Now, if you don't use Bluetooth NFC in location, I would recommend turning them off when you're not using them. So like Bluetooth, turn that off. Uh, location, turn that off. NFC, you can actually go into settings, uh, connected devices, connection preferences, and turn off NFC. Because I never use NFC, like I never use NFC. So that can preserve a lot of battery. Now the last thing is going, going into settings, battery and battery saver. Now I recommend this to turn at 25%. What this does is basically limits background apps, turns off all, basically anything that could waste your battery potentially, and goes into like the minimal battery saving mode. Um. Also, I knew I said this was the last thing on the list, but also for the last thing, the actual last thing, make sure adaptive batteries on. This can save so much battery life, it's not even funny. Like, it can make you, like, over time, it learns how your phone uses and what apps you like to use, and it, 
it's amazing. So those are my tips on how to save battery life on the Pixel 4. If you have any tips you would like uh, me, or if you have any tips that I didn't require or show on this video, put them in the comment section below. And without further ado, oh no, I say that for the video. Uh, see you, see you in the next video.